I am Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. Hogging Face is a central hub for open source machine learning, offering access to pre-trained models, data sets and tools that simplify the development and deployment of AI models. You can see this is the website of Hogging Face. How the video will proceed is first if you are completely new to Hugging Face, I will show you what it is all about, what different things you can assess from this particular website. And the second one is the main part of this video where I will show you how you can assess the free AI apps which are in the Hugging Face platform itself. And the third one is how to run the DeepSeq model from the platform. Let's get started. Okay, first thing first, this is the Hugging Face website. You can log in or explore without logging in. So here you can see models. If you go here, you can see 1,400,000 plus models are already there. It's better to log in so that some features can be assessed via login. But just to explore, you can see uh, DeepSeq R1 is already there and there is uh, 2.43 million downloads. The good part of Hugging Face is also that you can search from here most likes trending or you can search by different categories here is the task here is the libraries also maybe you want to just uh, want to know about pytorch then the models which are in this pytorch will be shown there just a filtering option but really easy way to do the filtering and then here is the data sets also and you can choose maybe I just want to go with the hugging face H4 data sets which models are using that data sets right this is quite handy way to drill down into the models you can see from 1,400,000 models we are back into just 1,000 models just uncheck this it's back there so it's a really good way to explore the different models out here and you can even search by name directly if you know the names and the data sets, you can see there are 301,000 uh, data sets. If you are working on AI projects or machine learning projects or what not, just go here and, and just look the data sets which you want. And again, here also there are different filters that you can do and how many size of rows. Maybe you want to have 100K, there you go. And also you want to maybe only have V and so on. This is a really good way to do the filterings. And the next one is the spaces. So this is the main part which I will be explaining later. And then here is the post. You can go there. There is the documentations and so on. The good part of Hogging Face is also that there is all sorts of documentations that you need. So you can see here, if you just want to know something about inference API, what it is, and what is the hub of uh, Python library and so on. If you go inside here, you can see all sorts of documentation is provided. If you want to know the pricing, uh, what it is all about, so the HF hub is free forever. If you want to have a pro account, you can go with the pro account, enterprise hub, and so on. It's you uh, who dictates which one you want to go with the pricing. If you go to this uh, drop down here, you can see there is a blog post, lawn, discord, forum, whatnot. So just explore. I'm not going to go through each and every topics here. But that is the first part of the video, overall view of what Hogging Face is all about. Whatever you think about open source machine learning or AI, everything will be here. You need to know how to explore this platform. Now let's go to the second part of the video, which is how to assess the AI apps, right? But before going into that, I want to show you the LinkedIn post of the CEO and co-founder of Hogging Face. Hogging Face has quietly become the biggest AI app store with 400,000 total apps, 2,000 new apps created every day, getting visited 2.5 million times every week. If you are in the AI machine learning field and you are missing out of Hogging Face, then you are missing quite a, quite a bit. You need to be uh, going into the Hogging Face website and know what it is all about and there are many things for free for you to explore right so now let's go to the spaces where there are the ai apps and you can see this is the spaces and the ai app directory so this is the ai app store because you can see there are different apps being created and uploaded into this space you can also do the same you can create some application and you can upload your application here so other people can also get 
benefit out of it that's the main purpose of ai uh, app store or spaces in this case you can just go here as you can see you ask anything you want to do with ai you can just go here and type whatever you want and here is also the categories what you want to explore this is good part right you can just uh, go here and see all the different things maybe you want to do something related to question answering yeah there you go you have the, you can go here and do maybe trending this is the trending you can go inside it for example this open perplexity you can just go inside it this is the app running you can see here it is created by someone thank you whoever created this and there is already 226 uh, likes and then it is running here you can see this space is hosted as a static application you can ask simple uh, question and you can see it is providing here cause analysis you can send this and it will do the thing again it is asking more questions as you can see in the perplexity also it asks you more questions in order to get the better answer this is just a sample example okay now you can see all the images sources and the and the answer is there so this is simple app created which kind of replicates the uh, perplexity and it is being hosted here so anyone can just go here and try it this is just a simple example right that's really good but then if you are bored well this is a joke but if you are bored you can just play a game here you can see there is a dice right you don't know what you want to try just go here and roll the dice there you, there you go it says colorize black and white uh, photos no i don't want this let me again uh, roll the dice right i will again roll the dice just, just a simple example but you can see it will show you different natural language question or filtering here based on this natural language question all the apps are being filtered you can just go here i'm not going to pick one specific because i already showed you the example of perplexity but just go here try different things and if you want to know what is space just go here and you can see what is space create and host awesome machine learning applications here right and as i said you can create a new space but for this you need to be logged in of course if you want to host something in the hugging face you need to logged in so yeah i will be logged in here there you go now you can just give the name of this one sort description license whatever you want to use select the spaces of stk stream lead or gradio or doc there are already the templates being provided and as i said there are 400k applications all using different hardware under the hood but the good part here is you can see that cpu basic 2b cpu 16 gb free is free as it is mentioned here you can just use this one and host your application there which is running for free and other people can also utilize the application that you create right you can see all the different uh, pricing mechanisms here just go here create the space you can even do it private just for you to test uh, all the different things or you can make public so anyone on the internet can see this space so this is all about the ai space right but one thing more how to assess deep seek because that is the open source model right how to assess that for free before going into the third part of this video i just want to mention that i create videos related to ai machine learning data science and so on i have already 230 videos you can explore the channel if you find the content helpful please consider subscribing so that it helps me motivate create more videos uh, in the future thank you for that if you go here there is this hugging chat click on the hugging chat it will say here do you want to just explore the app or sign in with hugging face if you just want to explore there you go you can see the ui similar to chat gpt or other chat platforms you can see all the different things here if you want to have the conversation for example you can see dipsic r1 is now available if you want to try it out it changes to the current model to dipsic ai if you want to ask the question it will ask you to log in or you can see here i can log in once i'm logged in by the way now i'm not going to go through the hugging chat what it is all about i have created the video before if you want help you can watch that video you can see i have asked some questions before the chat history is being preserved here i can select the models if you click this uh, settings you can go here and select other different models also provide the system prompts so you can just go here and ask any questions and now it is using uh, deep seek model you can see it will be reasoning also for example here to determine this i will start 
by writing out this next i will explain this going through this and so on so it is doing this reasoning kind of things using this model you can see here it is using the deep seek r1 distill coin 32b model if you go here it will take you back also same place where you can you can write the system prompts and so on the good part here is there is a direct link to the model page model website and so on if you click this one it will take you back to the hugging face and now you can read more about DeepSeek r1 what it is all about so yeah i don't want to extend this video longer uh, that is the main part i want to show you in this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video